Hey everyone, this is Eric Tran. This is the last day of my reading series from my book, The Gutter Spread Guide to Prayer, out now through Autumn House Press. I'm not dressed uh, in any specific costume, um, but I do have a friend with me today. This is the Hulk, uh, who I'm a, I'm a big fan of for a few reasons. One, he is smart and strong, which is always my life goal. Um, second, there's an iteration of him who is a Korean American. I think he's one of the first Asian American heroes to sort of headline his own comic book series. And third, there's um there's a line that he has in the movies where Captain America asks him, you know, how can you maintain such a sense of calm and never hulk out just at random moments? And he Bruce Banner turns to Captain and says, That's my secret. I'm always angry. And that's sort of been my inspiration as a as a queer man of color for several years that I'm always angry, sort of always outraged, um, but not necessarily uh, out of control um, or not um, using my brain in those moments. Um, so huge inspiration to me. Um, today I thought I would talk a little bit about um, how I sort of came to tie poetry and comic books together and religion actually, um, or spiritual practice rather. Um, there was a period of my life that I guess is still continuing, um, but it really started about, uh, you know, half decade to a decade ago, where I was losing a lot of my queer male friends, um, all in their mid-twenties, which is pretty tragic, um, and they were all dying of sort of classically tragic queer deaths, um, like suicide and overdose, um, or, you know, unloved by their families. And I was trying to figure out a way um, to help me carry this sort of heavy burden that I didn't feel equipped to, you know, in my 20s. I um, went to a lot of my friends' spiritual and religious practices, their churches and temples. I did a lot of reading, um, listened to podcasts, and they never really felt quite right to me. I was, you know, never looking for answers because I don't think there's a sort of answers to these situations. Um, but I was looking for a way to formulate questions, um, a structure in which to work, you know, because I was sort of awash. Um, I wasn't really doing anything, even writing during that time. Um, and yeah, none of them were quite successful or didn't really feel right to me. Um, but during that time, I was also trying to, you know, keep up with my daily activities, um, because I think that's an important way to work through grief. And while I was reading poetry books, I also came across some great comics that I loved and I kept going back to the store because I could ask for more recommendations and sort of get into these really interesting conversations with the clerks there. Um, shout out to Ultimate Comics in Chapel Hill. Um, you did a lot for me. And after a while, I was sort of thinking like, you know, I'm reading <laughs> these books of poetry and these comic books that are helping me ask questions and isn't that sort of what I wanted in the first place? So why why wouldn't they marry together and why wouldn't I sort of continue to think about that in my art? So today I'm going to read from a poem that's inspired by um, a comic called Black Bolt. He is an inhuman, which is different than a mutant, but basically the same thing. Um, and he's kidnapped onto an island, um, a solitary environment, uh, at least at first. And we should also know that he doesn't speak because his speaking voice is powerful enough to shout, uh, to shatter mountains. Um, and sort of thinking about that sort of speechless state and finding, you know, your own voice in the situation, it just really appealed to me. So today, um, the last poem in the Lectio Divina series is Lectio Divina Black Bolt, issue number six. He has shouted, he has shattered mountains with a word he has heard men say that his shout can crack a planet, and it might be true. Break the book's spine like a tangerine, thumbs first, a quiet, lasting hiss, then all that sweet and sting. I look to poetry for grief, see how words will collapse into meaning. I sobbed for your creation, and his absence followed into every line after. The ground, I believe, with both arched feet, heaving and crumbling, and look what's left, a heap of memory,
crypt volcano. Thank you all for joining me in this reading series this week. Um, sort of in closing and to think about um, just in general, but also during this time of, of quarantine, um, support your local bookstores, but also support your local comic book stores as well. A lot of them are doing curbside and deliveries um, and everyone stay safe.